In this video, I will explain how to figure out concrete for a rectangular shaped sidewalk. And um, this method could also be used to uh, for a variety of different rectangular shaped um, concrete surfaces, patios, driveways, stuff, stuff like that. But this one here, we're going to focus in on sidewalks. And here we have a six inch sidewalk sitting on top of the soil, four inch one sitting on top of the soil, and here is a four inch one that is sitting in the soil. Let's go ahead and take a look at that, give you an idea of what that's look what that looks like. Let's go ahead and place some forms in place and um, see if we can't figure out the concrete. We have a three foot wide dimension here, and this is in between, and a 20 foot long walkway four inches deep. Um, this is a two by four. Remember most two by fours are three and a half inches tall. And if we are going to pour something that is four inches, it's we're going to have a half inch gap there. Three foot wide. This is in between. And there's our walkway. Hey, we don't even have to figure anything anymore. Now for the math. We have a three foot wide by 20 foot long, that's four inches deep it's walkway, rectangular shaped. We will multiply three times 20 times 0.33, and that's going to give us 19.8 cubic feet. The This is a way to figure out the cubic feet. You can always figure out the cubic inches and break it down, but I think this is going to be the easiest way. Now, uh, a four inch deep um, sidewalk, five inch deep, six inch, these are going to be the decimals. And you can get this by simply dividing the depth into 12. Three divided by 12 would equal 0.25. And this 0.25 would go up here. The decimal we're going to use here will be for cubic feet. You cannot use um, four inches. We can't go three foot times 20 foot times four. That would give us a little more concrete that we're going to need. Now let me just show you what I'm talking about for breaking this down. I'm going to take 5 inches, 5 divided by 12 equals 0.416. If you round that off, you would be it would be 0.412. Let's clear that. Just wanted to give you an idea here. Let's go ahead and take 3 times 20 times 0.33. And this is feet, remember, 3 times 20 times... 0.33 equals 19.8 cubic feet. There are 27 cubic feet in one yard of concrete. Keep this in mind, 27 cubic feet. So I'm going to divide 19.8 divided by 27. That's going to give me 0.73 cubic yards. Let's go ahead and do that. 19.8 divided by... 27 equals 0.73. So that's going to be 0.73. Um, 0.75 is three quarters. So that's three quarters of a cubic yard. So anyway, that is it. It's that simple for figuring out a rectangular shaped, um, how much concrete you're going to need for a rectangular shaped um, concrete walkway. So this would give you the cubic feet measurement, which you know, it's uh, not uncommon to go down to your um, to your home improvement center or your lumber yard. And I believe they sell bags of concrete that are one cubic foot. You would need at least um, 20 of these bags, basically. Um, but keep in mind, you might need a little bit more, especially if you're ordering concrete. If the surface is not perfectly flat, then you are going to need more um, concrete. So when you're digging out your, your walkway and you you check everything and the and it's five inches in some spots and four inches in other spots, well, you might need a little more concrete. Might be safer going with the five inch deep formula and having a little concrete left over if you are going to be ordering it from a concrete truck. Now I am going to put other videos or links at the end of this video so that you can continue your education if you need more information to, to work with different 
types of sidewalks and different shapes. I'm going to put some links here and go into a little more detail on that in a few more videos.